Oh. Hey, Liara. Hello, Shepard. So you don't really want to talk to me, you're just standing there anyway. Alright. That's fine. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Oh. Um. Shoot smart. Shoot Nosastra. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from the Terminus systems. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Hmm. Almost tempted to buy that one just All to try it because I don't recall how to try it. In, but yeah, I have my widow. It'll be fine. Damn it! If we'd kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten the obelisk of Karza. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. You're not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Prothean. Mm -hmm. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. Well, that sounds awesome. Um... Auto record on. The scene contains large scorch marks. Looks like three fatalities. The entire area shot to hell. Precision shots. I heard the guests use jamming towers to prevent auto-targeting. If we had tech like that, we might save some lives next time somebody attacks the Citadel. Well... You want my security vids, bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital to the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus of Formans who made it happen, you'll give me the bids. <laughs> we're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Pat. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC... You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Citadel. Nobody else. You got my voice. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Hmm. Well... I guess we've talked and seen all we can here right now. He's a terrorist. He ought to be locked up. He should be shot. Gorex wanted for six bombings. Six. Killed both humans and Vatarians. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. Rounds, I think, and then I'm gonna call it for now. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Been too much death already. I'm so sniffly. It's just Brick, silly. You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. Hmm. Right, you are. More. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured, it was stupid. 
I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Hmm. <laughs> I said, inspect someone pulled some strings. Oh, those guys are gone. And the missus with the problem is gone. Cool. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the Huntress. The divine works on the art of battle. But the Nimbus Cluster has already fallen and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Hmm. So basically, we need to go find that as well. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. Is there anything on your mind? Mm, nope. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Don't really have anything new to talk about, so that's fine. Hey, Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units, reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. <laughs> Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the alliance was your lifelong dream, not <laughs> mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board. And people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. <laughs> Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Hi. You do look good. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wave. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice one. <gasps> oh, that was a nice wink. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean and squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You uh, still got that merchant freighter? Yeah. Looking for work? Might as well. What you got? Hmm. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> if I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Aww. Hey, Cortez. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. Of course. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. <laughs> There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. 
for everything. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's get him in still things. I'll see you back on the Normandy. Oh. oh Let's grab a drink. Might as well. Still here? The banner of the first red. Hey, Joker. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. <laughs> I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? And it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. <laughs> you know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. <laughs> Such a stupid idea. Well, you deserve it. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. <laughs> yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> there you go. Good lad. <laughs> Aww, awesome. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. That's nice. That's really nice. Come on. There you go. And. Let's see. Yeah. Um. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Um. We have been in the hospital. Came from the embassies. Areas tagged one moment, so please. We need to go to the holding areas. Now arriving at docking bay hmm. E twenty four. Emergency civilian. Council needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. What's wrong? Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Well, good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. Well, why not? While the Alliance takes heavy losses, Turian troops have been bolstered by Krogan support. Sorry, but that's not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> yes, that's just what this documentary needs.
need a different subject. Cerberus attempts to take control of the Citadel and failed. And CSEC Great shot, Commander. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. This one. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. <laughs> Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Shotgun. Batarian State Arms, pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Well, I would say that's, that's worth it. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. They'll come find me as soon as they can. Well, I guess this is a safe enough place. Look. If anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of us, okay? Sure thing, sir. Thanks. Well, it's nice, though. I think it needs to be more about the refugees. Are you kidding me? Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. <laughs> you just gonna stand there and watch? Yeah, we you know. Are you kidding me? Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the nice. location of some ruins. Prothean ruins, on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got Are to be worth something. Me? Please, my family is starving. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Sounds you like, like you're not doing too good, James. Whatever happens, that nice lady who's helping everybody out. You mean the redhead, Kelly Chambers? 
Yeah, that's her. She's dead. What? Yeah. When Cerberus took the docks, they walked right up to her and asked, Are you Kelly Chambers? She said yes, and they put a bullet right between her eyes. Boom. I guess if Cerberus asks if you're such and such, the correct answer is no. Shh. Poor Kelly. I guess you really don't walk away from Cerberus. I need support. Someone sabotage the metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. I need support. Someone sabotaged the metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus mm. down here. The second no, inspector assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Cerberus forces from killing the council. Dispenser here as well. I need support. Someone sabotaged the metagel dispensers, no. and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted C Sex. He said it's not a priority, and it doesn't matter. Ah, shit. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Well, I guess those were all the metagel dispensers then. Do. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for. Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. <laughs> I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? <laughs> you... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. <laughs> of all the people. Yeah, I think I would look like that too. Seriously. Um, yeah. Well, bloody hell! Of all the things, I was wondering when 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 I was gonna see Conrad again. Well, yeah. Oh, silly, silly. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Thank you, Commander. Yeah. All right. I'll start editing it right away. Um, I remember. I remember now. I need to go back to status recognized. the embassies because I need to check the Spectre terminal to help the other person. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. That other person. I don't even recall where I found him. Her. Look, I filled out all the forms you requested and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where Leota is, and I'm gonna be deployed soon too. Everyone's been called back to active duty since Earth was attacked. I understand, but... I can't leave my daughter here alone. I need to send her back to Thessia, to her family. These things are very complicated, and usually take a very long time. 
It's even worse with everything going on right now. I'm very sorry. If you can't accept a fostering by proxy until her file is processed, there's nothing more I can do. No, poor thing. Hmm. There we go. Right, you are. Let's see if we have any information. Medical supplies. Um, the repairs to make it impossible. The supplies is currently in lockdown. Authorize. They need it. Um, so, feel a request for civilian militia defense. It only matter a while. Attack. Um, do it. There's a top line rule. I'm busy access only according to one nation. Hmm. First, I really said uh, right, that's a key French incident. Uh, if the war does not end within the next year, galactic pressure collapse is inevitable. Yeah. I'll do it. Let's see if we can find people. Uh, Batarian patient, then we go against the game and achieve the damage of the Spectralizing is possible to bypass standard security for the direct top line with diplomatic dispatches. Location of consoles is accessed. Using suspect ciphers will be able to inspect some to highly increase detection. There's an aim one. I'll be good. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it, but ensuring Citadel systems' integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Well, what's this the journal? Ah, uh, Library of Asha. Victorian Codes. Target Gem. Right. I need to find terminals and do other stuff. Let's see. I'm already getting very tired and I've already been sniffly like three times or something in this episode, so I think I'm just going to cut it here and we'll go hunting terminals and whatever the next time. So as always, thank you very much for watching and tune in to the next one.